Greetings Sunday School. Welcome to the preview of our Sunday School lesson for the upcoming week. For the past few weeks, we have been zeroing on John's exhortations to us as believers. He has been giving us practical principles for Christian living. The truth is that in a world of darkness, we are called to demonstrate the light of Christ through our love for one another. And this love is because Christ first loved us. This Sunday's lesson titled Live Victoriously in Christ is from the book of 1 John and it's from the last chapter. Here we are seeing that John is reinforcing all that he has been saying to us in the previous chapters. He is reassuring believers of their position in Christ and he is now revealing to us how we are to live considering who God is. We, my friends, are the children of God. This is our position in Christ Jesus, who is the Son of God and who died for our sins. And this fact is necessary, especially in an age as it was in John's time, where people denied the sonship of Jesus. This reality and this fact is bared witnessed by the water and the blood. Jesus was baptized and crucified, and the Spirit bears witness of this. We are born of God through faith. John says, Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. As a result, friends, we are already victorious through our faith in Jesus Christ. The God of this world is no match for the spirit-filled believers. And John wants us to consequently live confidently in God. And this confidence is boldness in Christ to approach him because he hears us if in fact we act according to his will. This bold living is restorative living and it is sinless living. This is a responsibility to pray for the faltering member and not to practice sin. The truth is that there is much to unpack in this lesson, but we cannot do it right here. So that means you have to get ready and go out to Sunday school. Yes, iron the clothes and read the lesson before so that as we go into Sunday school, we can talk about this victorious life that we have in Jesus Christ. See you there. God bless you, everybody.